Hello, Jeffrey. What's up? What's up? What's up? Man. Happy episode 12. Episode 12. It's episode 12. What's going on, B? Man, sorry, y'all. We had some serious technical difficulties. We've been out the game for a couple weeks, and we apologize. But we are back. We are busy. Like, like and I'm not Drake, sick this time. Like Drake two song album. Okay, so speaking on this, so I've just been informed, and I've been living under a rock for the last ever. It seems that Drake has released a two song album. It's fire! Literally, God, God's plan. Not only is it a good song that they could play in the radio, play on the radio, and play in the song in the in the the clubs or whatever. Yeah. But diplo- diplomatic immunity reminds me of uh of just like when rappers used to have their last track. Their last track used to be like lyrical exercise, like they're freestyling. Okay. That's what diplomatic immunity reminds me of. Ah. And it's fire. It's fire. Is the beat hot? Because you know me. Crazy. See, see, Listen, this is this is the part everybody likes about it. When I heard it, it kind of gave me chills. Like woo, that shit was dope. He goes, "What he say? He say um, uh, something about uh, she said she said, do you love me? I told her only partly. I only love my bed and my mama. I'm sorry. I, woo, I, I, I don't care who wrote that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that part. I don't give a shit who wrote it, man." Okay, so for those who don't know, I've been a big Drake fan because the dude makes hits. And not only does he make hits, he makes hits that I like. Because just because it's a hit doesn't mean I love it. Of course. But he makes, I can, except the last two albums. I'm not big on the last two albums. I, I found the songs that I like, the playlist, the More Life playlist one. That one wasn't, to me, it wasn't all that good. Yeah, I, I didn't I, feel it that much. I say that because... Blim was my shit, though. The reason why I say that is because it, it you can tell that it... I, you can tell that it wasn't... It wasn't made for the everyday like rap fan. Yeah, it's more. That was a more commercial it was a out. Yeah, and it felt like a variety. Yeah, he had a lot. Like, but he had some dope songs on there. True. He had the no talking. He had no free smoke. Free smoke. Blim free smoke was, was dope. Just my song, really? Though. Yeah. See, yeah, I forgot how it goes. Cause look, let me tell you guys something about me. I could love a song. I mean, I could love a song, but if I had to come up with the lyrics, or tell you the lyrics, or repeat the beat. <laughs> You might as well put that bullet in the back of my head because I'm not gonna know it. Hell no, I'm, it's not gonna make. You're any in sense. the moment, fan. Man. I'm a in, not no no because I still appreciate music. Like I still, what I, when I say when I say in the moment, I mean like yeah, you can be a, like a fan. bandwagoner. It kind of like do. That. My bad. I'm yeah, sorry. I take that back. I take that back. No, it's it's more of a, like you can listen to the song and love the song, but if you're not listening to the song, you don't know like the song. You're not like you know what I'm saying. You don't listen I'm, to battle rap and remember yeah, bars. Like yeah, I ain't I'm out not, here remembering oh, man, bars. I'm yeah. Not, the one song I used to be able to hit like word for word was Rain Man by Eminem. Really? And only the only proof of that is my wife watched me do it while I was drunk. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see, I like um I did what did I do? I did uh what song was that? It was uh Criminal, Criminal by Eminem. Criminal by Eminem was a song I knew by heart. Love that song. Who else? Uh, what other song? Because uh, I'm a criminal. Yeah, that song I knew by heart. Uh, and let's see how much I know. Uh, yeah, I'm a criminal. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Yeah, um, my words are like a dagger with a jagged edge. I'll stab you in the head whether you a bag or less. Uh, homosex? No, nah, but your answer's yes. Um, something, something. Trans or something. <laughs> hey, that, yeah, that, that's it. This is kids <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> that and... um. 300 bars by the game. Ooh. I knew that whole 15 minute song straight. Damn. And um best rapper alive, Lil Wayne. Oh, you know which <laughs> one was my favorite? Okay, so let me tell y'all how I really got put on the Lil Wayne. So I'm walking across the quad in high school, and I see this guy next to me who's fucking nodding his head like crazy and i'm like what the hell is he you know what is he listening to and he was like oh man i'm listening to little wayne and i was like the wobbity wobbity dude <laughs> like bling 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 <laughs> that's all so i didn't even know him as the bling bling yeah. i think at that point i knew him as the uh, uh probably like it's hot, hot. Probably <laughs> like it's hot. when he put on uh money on my mind and he let me listen to it uh. in his headphones <laughs> he, i lost my mind I lost, 
I, I lost it. Best Lil Wayne album ever. Yeah, Carter Two was the shit. Carter bro. Two was the best Carter Lil II Wayne was the shit. But let me album. Let me trip you out on this since we still steamrolling on music, and I know we'll come back to the Drake thing. But Lil Wayne, the Carter Three, I pulled into a gas station, and every car in the gas station, it was about six cars was playing a different track off that album the day it came out. Oh, of course. I never had, I promise you, hand to God, I've never seen nothing like that. I get goosebumps when I think about it. I want to say- Can you imagine pulling up somewhere and hearing the same album in different cars on different tracks? See, that's only happened to me one time. And that was still, it was still Lil Wayne. I went to my first Lil Wayne concert ever. My Actually, my first concert ever. And um, it, it was- I think the Carter Four, if I'm not mistaken. Which one? Hey, Mr. Carter, was that? Was that? Carter? That was Carter Three, I think. Was Where it? Where you been? Anyway, uh, yeah. Anyway, he dropped a mixtape before that. Okay. And either it was no ceilings. It had to be the first no ceilings. So it had to be no ceilings one, right? Man, when I say we were leaving that parking lot, and I, I the car I'm in, I'm like, yo, we gotta play this. I'm, I'm like Lil Wayne juicing right now. Yeah. We playing it. We wind the window down. Every Every. car in the parking lot is playing a song off that album or off that mixtape. And it was like, yo, that was the first time I've ever been in a situation like that. Y'all, I'm going to be honest, I'm a little butthurt that he went to the Lil Wayne concert and didn't tell me. I'm sorry, man. I'm hearing this for the first time. No, you knew. You knew. And I will tell you who took us, but took, who took me. It was me. It was some friends. And some friends, yeah. Okay. I'm butthurt, but I'm going to get over it. Let's get back to Drake. Yeah, Drake, two song album. And I'm I'm sad that it's an album because you can't just and you know somebody said that too like Drake Drake's run look how long Drake's run Dude, has been do you know he was on the Billboard's top um, like top 200 for, since 2009 some crazy like he's that. had a he's had a hit he's no a hit let, me, monster, let me rephrase man. his album Take Care since it came out has been on the top 200 mm-hmm. list Billboard to this day it's still there really Take Care which the album was dope as hell the album was crazy. But then he's consistently had a hit in the um, the top. I want to say top twenty tracks. Yeah, he's had a track up there almost every since two thousand nine. Listen, uh, Drake is making history, and I'm not. I'm just a rap fan. Period. A uh, good music fan. Period. Um, I seen he did. Uh, I seen he he put out the uh, when well, he put this two thing out this two song album out. I was like, I ain't heard nothing from Drake in a while. He even referenced the J-Lo thing on there. Wait, what happened with Man, he, Well, because remember, they took the picture together. Everybody thought they was a thing. Oh, and then yeah. he was like, 2010, I lost my Halo. 2017, I lost my J-Lo. I said, yeah. what? Ooh. Yo, he, he, he snaps. But I, I, I always wanted to say this. I think I think Drake has, Drake proved himself so early on in the game that who cares if he don't write his that's, own music? That's what I'm saying. Because look look at this, Drake's hottest verse ever, right, is on "Born Successful." I for, I was just listening to the song the other day, but the hottest verse on there. And after this podcast, I'm gonna make you listen to it. He has the hottest his the best verse alive. Like I I showed you Big Crit's best verse. Yeah. When I go back and listen to this verse, I'm like, yo, he was snapping. Yeah. And you can't tell me he didn't write this. Yeah. <laughs> you can't. Yeah. You, yeah. you telling me he, he didn't write the songs off yeah. this mixtape. Yeah. This mixtape that he, was supposed to have been an writers. album. Yeah, he didn't have right. He had nobody back then. He just was meeting 40. He, yeah. You see what I'm saying? So my opinion on Drake, I think he's proven himself in his game. Like, yeah, I'm not going to put him in that as the best alive because if you're talking about competition and lyrical exercise, we gonna, we we're not going to go yeah, there with him. He makes good songs. He makes, he makes songs music. that I can ride around to. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I, I God's guess. plan is dope. Diplomatic immunity reminds me of just like when you in the studio, somebody in the studio with your boys and y'all are just and freestyling. See, y'all got to understand how juiced I am about this because first and foremost, I still haven't heard none of these tracks. Man, you got to. My whole as soon as you get a chance, go. The, like you're not. If you pay for them, b- buy them. They're not. It's not. It's you're gonna get your money's worth. There you go. And I'm one of them weird people who go who go to record stores and buy CDs. Yeah, you. I, I actually, I, people laugh at me. I go and buy CDs, especially if we I come from that though. But not on. Not only that, I love supporting people I listen to. That's I have true. no problem. Yeah. I have no. Pro- oh, dude, I'm a big. When it comes to supporting, mm-hmm. I have no issues. And I may not be able to support with time. Like I'm not gonna go to your concert, but I'm gonna buy your album. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, uh, you know, I'm too much of a hermit. Uh, to be well, yeah, we see we had this conver- we ha- we have this conversation all the time, but that's just naturally mm-hmm. how not only you you are, but naturally how uh, we've been. Yeah. Like who hasn't supported people that they True. like? If I rock with you and I like your like, but see, I'm gonna tell you this: Big Sean ruined that for me because Big Sean was dropping fire mixtapes after and fire mixtapes. Did his first album was booty? Like you know what? You know what's so funny? Can, is it safe to say that he album wise is the modern Ludacris? Because remember, Ludacris, even though I loved his first two albums. Okay, I get why you his, can say that. Yeah. And the reason why I say this because let me let me give some premise for those who don't know. The whole thing with Ludacris was never feature him on your song because he'll destroy you yep. on your song. Yep. Ludacris will kill your track. Yep. And he will make you look like you can't rap. Him, him, who good features. Yeah, that's a good yeah, conversation. He's a he he's a feature monster. Yeah. It, he if you want to be overrun on your track, go ahead and feature Ludacris. Yep. But he could never put together a perfect a good not a perfect project because there's no such thing, except maybe Miseducation of Lauren Hill. Um, or yeah, uh, the low end theory, tri- college quest, dropout, or college dropout. Nah. You know, but we ain't gonna we ain't gonna, <laughs> we ain't gonna get we ain't there. Gonna go, yeah, we ain't yeah. Go down that road. Um, but he, um, but Big Sean. Oh, but my bad. Ludacris, his albums weren't as successful as his individual tracks or features. Now, Big Sean, some of the best mixtapes. Uh, finally famous. One finally through famous what? Three. One through three. Yeah, one through three was dope. Man, his. His, you know Big Sean was dope. Man, his mixtapes were fire. I can find myself listening to more of his mixtape tracks than his albums. Than his albums. Um yeah. now it could just be more creative freedom. But he's with good music, so I don't like I I, I can't give him a I can't give him a, uh, an excuse for that because even with with him being where he's at now and obviously in music he should be slaying these tracks just like I was slaying, and he should. And I'm not saying he don't make good music. No, his music he makes no, good music. That, what's that track with Chris Brown? See, once again, folks, back up. I suck hands at up, in, hands up, hands uh, up in the air. That old no, school one. No, he, the more recent one off oh. his most recent album. Where okay, they make uh, they kind of oh. sampled the whole Martin thing. Okay, yeah, that was um. I forget the name of that, but that the one of the speaking of that one of the chicks that was in that music video, she's from the IE. Oh, yeah, so. 100%. Um, but anyway, that I was more okay. So speaking of his projects as a whole, like first trial album, it was music, it was songs on there that I could listen to. But the album, if I had to grade it uh, A through F, I'm low key gonna give it a C. Okay, right. Finally, Famous Three was A plus plus. Facts, right? I'm not even gonna sit here and try um, to be. Yeah, that album C. Then he drops Hall of Fame. And I think it was was Hall of Fame around the time he dropped Control. I think it was. Mm-hmm. So he drops Control, right? Control, mm-hmm. Kendrick, Kendrick, Kendrick's verse was better than that whole album. That is horrendous. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. is, and and even Hall of Fame was was it wasn't a bad album. He had yeah. good songs on there. It just but, it just his projects don't fuse and they don't mesh and they don't come into they don't match the status that he he can come with. He. It, yeah, it I would tell work. you. Like, I would, I would, I would rather buy his mixtapes than his albums. Exactly. That easy as that. Yeah. To cut a long argument and debate short. But see, it, it it's it's sad. It's like one of them them. It's like a conversation where it's like, hey, yo, I did so bad in these. It's like the Lil Wayne thing. Because to me, Lil Wayne was trash before the Carter one, and then out of nowhere, he becomes a monster. But if I didn't hear Money on My Mind or Ooh. Best rapper alive. I and probably wouldn't be too. listening. Those yeah, though yeah. I probably wouldn't be listening to yeah. Lil Wayne as much as I, I do. For me, for me, the thing that really got me on him was the Carter Two. Yeah, see, and, and that's still one of his, my favorite projects. Man, from him besides boy, that was whole no album. The, and you and the reason and the reason why that's I have, so, I have. Man, yeah, that was uh, no <laughs> that, yeah, that, that was, what was that no ceilings. Yeah, the first no, one? no, no. That was yeah, that was no one. ceilings. The, the first, first one. one, yeah. Actually, I blew the speakers on my Hyundai Elantra O two, <laughs> doing that, listening to uh, the uh, the the uh, no ceilings one. Yeah, see, he had banned banned from TV, which was dope. That was a dope. That was a dope song on that on that mixtape, but. Big Sean just needs to. I think he hasn't grasped. We all know he can rap, but I, I, I just want to hear complete. 
like in the in the this new school of rap, not the not the younger generation before the new school. So you you're kind of say Kendrick, J Cole, Drake, even though Drake was before them, ASAP, and then you got I'm Big t- Sean. Where I'm do you put you, him in well, that five? Well, I'm gonna tell you this. I think that was that's Big Sean's only sin is coming out around to everybody else. Mm, you think he should have came out now? It oh no, because he would have got washed out, and we would call him an old school mumble- rapper, ignoring the new, okay. the new school. It, I think he would get pegged with that if he came out. Today. You know what though? I, I'm gonna disagree with you on that because the album he just did with uh, was it Metro Booming? I love that shit. That uh, that out. See people, Do you know, people were saying that it was trash, but I, I, I actually liked it. it. I liked it, but, but see, I think it's because they're not used to see. He's he's when he, even when he diss Kendrick. And I'm going to say he dissed Kendrick because I knew he dissed Kendrick. Look, we ain't going to do the whole on <laughs> shot first shit. Yeah. Look, look, we, look, stop. He dissed we Kendrick. We playing that game. Did he, with that, with the whole, uh, and uh, all the rappers sound like one big asthma attack and all of this. When he rap like that, when he rap rap and he rap it into a good song. It sounds good. But isn't that everybody? No, no, no. <laughs> I know, look I at know. Lil B. First off, you don't talk about bass. <laughs> Look at Luke. Exactly. You? I knew no. you was going to say that. Hey, I knew you. you. <laughs> no, you need to leave that alone. Bass God is good. Bass, bass God. And he was on the no seat. Bass God in this uh, with smoking. First off, wonton soup. Woo! You leave bass alone. Everything is based. Bass nah. God has given out many blessings. Bass God is the truth. Hey, you Y'all know, leave I'm going to tell you, I had so much respect for him after that concert where he got hit and went on there and was like, yo, I still love you. Yeah. Like he was telling, like, I'm, I ain't yeah. fall of the action. Yeah. But, but back to Big Sean, my, my point is, I know he could do better than that. Just sure. like, just like dude told J. Cole when he rapped, it, even the first dead president freestyle J. Cole did on the come up was dope. And the dude, he said, yeah, dude came up to me and said, yo, I heard your big, your, your dead president freestyle, but if you're going to come on that, you got to come harder than that. Mm-hmm. And what does J. Cole do? Drop another no, mixtape. No yep. The war, uh, I think it was the warm up. No. Yeah. The warm up. Oh, go ahead. And then he does the, the, the and goes even no, crazier. Was album? No, it was a, it was a mixtape because he did the come up. He did. I want to say he redid it. The re- redone track was on the album. Correct us in the comments. Yeah, correct below. us. Because I know he we did two of them. And they were both on. It was, I remember I the swear, come up and I the warm up. one was on a mixtape. But then I want to say the other one was on the album. No, nah, man. You listen to listen to him. He go ham, babe, shit, banana on that. So, but, it, but, but swinging this all back around to Drake. Oh, no. Before. Big Sean. What do you put? Okay. In the top, in these five rappers, uh-huh. where do you put Big Sean? You got well, Kendrick. You got, internet. just listen to me, man. You got Kendrick. Kendrick you got J. Cole. J. Cole. You got ASAP Rocky, Rocky. You got Drake. And you got Big Sean. Out of them five, where do you put him? Ah, fuck you, man. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and say that I'm going to put him above ASAP Rocky. So who ASAP Rocky's five? Yeah, ASAP Rocky. So he's four. Big Sean. Um and then my top three. So number one, it would be between J. Cole, Kendrick, and who? Drake. Okay, so I'm gonna So go one, two, three. I'ma put because when I listen to music, I like to I like to vibe and feel Okay, good. no, 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 no. No, no, no. We're no, we're doing no. lyrical Lyrical. L- lyrical monsters. Oh, lyrical like, monsters. Lyrically. Oh, then okay, that's easy. Kendrick, J. Cole, Drake, uh, a, uh Big, Big Sean. Sean. Actually, I'll that's put, my exact same yeah, way. My list. Yeah, is. that's my exact would, same but way. But low key, bars wise, I think I put I'll Drake. Put, I would put or J. Drake Cole. at four and put J and put really. I would put Kendrick. Listen, I'd put Kendrick, uh, J. Cole, and then Big Sean. And then Drake, and then uh, wow, ASAP. ASAP. If you're talking lyrics, if wow. you're talking lyrical monster, Big Sean's a bar in that in that th- top three spot. I put those almost neck and neck. Listen, man, with hey, you. listen, I ain't heard a bar from Big Sean to make me say, "God damn, <laughs> the dude's a spitter." He's a spitter. I never said he wasn't. I never said he wasn't. I think mine's would be the first way you said it, except for I think I would put J Cole number one over Kendrick. Okay. And and even though 
even though out of them five, because remember, Kendrick Lamar mentioned all five of these rappers on that control beat, True. right? And people always say, oh, well, Kendrick doesn't rap. You know, he makes good songs. He makes good albums. Okay, when you put when you when you put out the jig is up, and the jig is up is a dope that's rap my, song. That's one of my right. That's an anthem. Songs from him. And then yeah, you turn no around. No, and then you first. Then you turn around and you put out the control. Bum, you bum, bum. you go on control. Yeah. And rap diss everybody, yeah. low key diss everybody, yeah. but then diss everybody, he and then secret, everybody respected he it. High key reinvigorated the hip hop community. He had to track. look how many people, and then one thing. Big I, Crit made Mount Olympus after that. I know <laughs> <laughs> Mount Olympus. Who knows if Mount Olympus would have came out if that, it wasn't for? Hey, what if I shake that five five up and say, "Yo, where would you put Crit?" <laughs> I put Crit above. Um, I'd rather listen to... You got... Oh, fuck, you're going to get me in trouble. So, once again, this top three spot is a Hydra. I see them standing <laughs> yeah. together. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and knock... Um, Big Sean I back. I knock Big Sean back. Okay. And put I would Big, put Big Crit Insert there. Big Crit. Insert Big Crit. I feel the and same thing. And then ASAP Rocky would fall off for me. Yeah, ASAP Rocky has to fall off. Dope, but I don't look at ASAP Rocky for his lyrics. He puts for his together music. good tracks. But he, but see, he can rap too. And this no, is, I know he can. But yeah, I don't. I don't look to him. I don't listen to it because I. I probably listen to more ASAP Rocky than a lot of them. Of course, because I'm of the flow. Sure. And then he fucks with Tyler the Creator. Yeah, and I love Tyler the Creator. So, yeah. and even Tyler the Creator can rap. Bro, Tyler the Creator's NPR concert. Uh, behind the desk concert yeah. was so dope. I, I listened to that shit at work. Really? He has a live band with him. He has a band and he's just sitting there fucking getting it and they making mixes to his album. Tyler which that rap. album was dope as fuck. I know that. Earl Sweatshirt can rap. Hell yeah. They can all rap. Hodges, all of them. Okay, so so now that we we got this music out of our blood and we okay, did this top yeah, five. Yeah, I feel like we okay, so what uh, now this is something we, we were kind of prepping for this uh, post podcast or yeah. pre podcast pre pre podcast. Um, what are the top five things you looking forward to this year? Okay, so right? and that go anything top, games. Oh shit! Music. When you say that, you really mix me. You really throw me out. So okay, so the top five things that I'm waiting for this year, um, overall, for sure is going to be Red Dead Redemption. Okay, oh, you and know, Red Dead Redemption too. Mm-hmm. Now, my big reason for this is we all know Rockstar. When they make games, their games one last for years. Yep. Look at, look two, at Grand Theft. Yeah, Grand Theft. Um, two, the production value is high. Yep. Yes, the major complaint that you get out of them is, oh my god, why is it another pushback? Mm-hmm. Oh my god, why they push back the game? Outside of that, what? There's no major complaints I I've heard for rock, a rock star. Yeah. Even their tennis game was dope. Like I, they I, made a sports game. Yes. Yeah. See, I, I'd rather that. I'd rather them push it back than to give us incomplete projects. Thank you. When it comes to overall good project and companies who do the most, Rockstar. and do good shit. Rockstar is up there. Uh, CD Projekt Red, the people who made The Witcher, mm-hmm. and um, those those two companies at this point in time with the Rocky community, the way how rocky the gaming community is right now yeah those are the only two companies that i wholeheartedly without question buy would from. not i buy yeah. from without hesitation oh, no hesitation i'm like oh take my money yeah Boop, throw it at them and i think i think what's what solidify red dead is that red dead was uh, the first one was great Fucking amazing. and then the story you did it up right now and play the it. story didn't even end no nah. You 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 become your dad pretty much, and yeah. that's that. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Spoiler sorry. Alert. And you become your son. Yeah. yeah. You become your son. I'm sorry. You, yeah. Well, yeah. You play as the son. Your dad. Yeah. The main character dies, and he plays as the son now. Super spoiler. Alert. Spoiler alert. Sorry, I had to do that. But that was one of my favorite. When I said I destroyed that game. Yeah. That game was so fun to me. The multiplayer was fun. You get on the rules with the lever action. Feeding (laughs) people, just giving them bars. Yeah. So we know not only has their track record been good, but even to this day, look how look how much they back Grand Theft Auto Five. Can you imagine if we get the Grand Theft Auto Five time frame out of Red Dead Redemption Two? Oh, that'd be because Grand Theft Auto Five came out at the end of the Xbox 360 PlayStation Three era. Yeah, and it came out. As the Xbox One um, came out, and then and, they ported it, and then they ported it, and then you got first person mode, and it still it just recently came out with a free um, yeah the heist the heist, heist thing yeah yeah so I'm I swear okay this is another conversation we need to have are you getting it for PC because I'm getting it for PC 
Red Dead Redemption, PC, that's where we're going. <laughs> okay, so it sounds like I'm getting it on PC. <laughs> Damn. All right. I'm not knowing my greasy ass. I'm not getting it on PC and console. And console. But, yes, I will be picking it up on PC so we can run that. Okay, so I said um, Red, Dead. Red Dead Redemption 2. And then there's a, a, a game coming out. I'm really big into um, RPGs. Okay. There's an RPG game coming out called Kingdom Come Deliverance. Basically, the easiest way to describe it, it's Skyrim, but realistic and no monsters. So you're mm-hmm. living the life in during the um, 1700s as a squire, and you got to work your way up. Your town, uh, your town gets beat up, uh, destroyed, and your parents are killed, mm-hmm. blah, 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 blah. And you got to work your way up the knighthood. And run around, and then you get to go and kill the person who screwed over your family. Yeah. So that's that's a big game that's looking forward to. And then uh, movie wise, of course, Black Panther. But that's already we already that, discussed that. We already yeah. discussed that. So I'm not gonna talk about that one. Infinity War. Um, that's something really big. I'm looking forward to. And then honestly, uh, what is that? Three things and uh, Monster Hunter, which comes out in the next couple of days from now. And after that, what? Oh, Seven Deadly Sins. The anime, the anime, or it's a manga that was turned into an anime on uh, by Netflix. Netflix picked it up. Seven Deadly Sins, Meliodas, and uh, all these knights. They were uh, framed for taking over, trying to take over the kingdom and killing everybody. But mm-hmm. long story short, they're the good guys. But these dudes is badass. Really, Bond, uh, King. Uh, fucking Meliodas, who's the captain? Yeah, and fucking, fucking shit. Just fucking shit. Up. Shit, I can't, <laughs> I cannot wait. And I don't want to give away too much for those who haven't seen it. But if you're into any type of anime, or if you never got into anime, and you would like somewhere to start, Seven Deadly Sins is a dope ass one, and it's on Netflix. Everybody who's listening loves to binge watch, so it, it's something I highly recommend. So that. And then the final thing I'm looking forward to, I had a bunch of other stuff listed, but the one I really want to talk about. Or just, just say them. Oh, well, hold on. Let me finish. Let me finish my top five, and then I'll go down the rest. So the next thing I'm, I'm waiting on is whatever Bethesda releases. Mm. Bethesda. That's a out, good company, man. Outside of their bugs, their bugs are game-breaking, soul-crushing. <laughs> yeah. But they or... they come out with some damn good games. Yeah, they do. So now let me read off the other stuff that I'm looking forward to. So Naruto Shinobi Striker, that shit looks dope. I can't wait. Is that a 3D? It's a 3D. Uh, like, um, what game could I compare it to? Um, did you ever play uh, Naruto uh, Ninja Storm? I or, think I did. Okay, so it's similar to the later Ninja Storms, except it's multiplayer. And you're in an open area, and you just like they got like capture the flag, different that. Oh, oh my okay. bad, Xenoverse. It's like DBZ Xenoverse. Oh, okay. You get to create your own ninja, go in, go into these different game types, be in their arena fighting and whatnot, going to different areas. Oh, okay. Yes, it looks. So it's heavy dope. on multiplayer. It's heavy on multiplayer, and they got the whole hub where you're walking around the planet and whatnot. Oh, okay. And um, I've only watched people play it on the beta. I didn't know the game was coming out yeah. until I went onto somebody's YouTube, and I was like, holy shit, there's a new Naruto. Z- Xenoverse type game. Yeah. So I went and watched it. Now I'm pumped for that. It's supposed to come out this quarter. Mm. Um, so I'm waiting on that. Um, and then I didn't mention SAO. Uh, I'm waiting for the next season of SAO. I don't know if it's going to come out this year. Um, Sword Art Online. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. I'm talking like everybody knows what I yeah. mean. Yeah. I was about to uh, say, what is Sw- that? Sword Art Online, full dive technology. Um, basically, this kid, uh, I'll use his game name, Kirito. He, they go into this digital world by putting his headgear on. So you know how we have the Oculus Rift and whatnot. Except imagine being able to lay down, put it on, and your mind fully thinks you're in this game. Okay. So like Total Recall. Mm, yeah, but not without. It's not a. It's not meant to mind fuck you. Like, <laughs> yeah. So this it's just you put like on, you know you yeah, in the you game, know you're like, in the game. Yeah. It's so, gonna end at yeah, some point. Like, you don't know. Yeah. <laughs> So basically the whole thing is you put it on and you go and you play in this world. Now, this technology, real talk, is probably like the real version of it. And I'm kind of jumping off topic is I give it 20 years out because really so long. Well, that's I say that long just so I'm not wrong. Um, <laughs> that's clutch. <laughs> but, in, but, but in my head, 20 years ain't nothing. 20 yeah, years ain't yeah. Shit. 
I mean, think about what we were doing 20 years ago. I mean, yeah, look at... Uh, Everything was cords. I uh, know. <laughs> <laughs> you could, you could rent this whole house. Yeah, yeah. Everything was voice. cords. Yeah. Cords, cords, cords. Sheesh. But yeah, but now we're at a... Yeah, where you can go buy lights, everything. Mm-hmm. You can, from your cell phone, you can run your whole house. Yep. Shut it down. Yeah, shut the whole house now. Yeah, I don't want no power. Man, no that's... Juice. That I think that's see that's 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 crazy. I mean, just to even just on this specific topic, yeah. That, I, well, I'm so I'm not yeah. I'm not so. Uh, how would you say like starstruck anymore when they come out with new technology? Yeah. Because I'm like, oh yeah, look, this was in the movie like when I was young, and now it's real. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, that was only like ten years ago. Ten years ago, like, <laughs> dude, like, like you got to think about this. Um, I want to say it was Mark Zuckerberg or. Elon Musk, one of the two. Don't quote me in the, or correct me in the comments. Those basically, are two easy basic, guesses anyway. Yeah, basically they said that they. I want to say at the time they said within the next five years you're going to be able to put a headset on, and then you're going to be able to digitally go on vacation, and ninety percent of you is going to believe you're there. See? Can you imagine how like how accessible that makes everything? And then for for other for people who don't understand what I'm talking about, get ready to see exactly what I'm talking about in Ready Player One. Ah, uh, there you go. I can't believe I forgot Ready that. Ready Player and One. So and I just told you I wasn't excited for nothing this year. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ready, Ready Player, Player One. One. I know this is a lot I of I just picked five. the book back up. Yeah, I read mine. Just picked the book Luke back up. Luke that up. Yeah, they gave me the... I, I would like to get it... I'd like to get all the books I read in hardcover. Mm. Yeah, because I, I, that book was a good... That was a good book. The concept behind that book was dope. But there's exactly... That's exactly Ready Player that One. Ready Player right One there, yeah. is... You know, I, I hope we don't get to the dystopia part of it where everything's all fucked yeah, up. Yeah, like We're the post apocalyptic. Yeah. yeah, like the only way to live nice is through digital platform. Yeah, like, that's, I mean, but see, but that's not far off. Look, think about it. Imagine, but you look. Look, damn, okay, let son. me let's 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 go down the rabbit hole. Yeah. just a little bit. Look how LinkedIn is. LinkedIn is now the business Facebook. Mm-hmm. If you go and you try to apply for a corporate position without a LinkedIn, good fucking luck. And then if your LinkedIn is crazy and you're not spiffy or you're not adding the right people, this and that and the other, or you don't have the proper labels, you're, you're screwed. So imagine, let's take it a step further. What if your avatar needs to be a certain way? Like what if you need to work a mile? What if you need, what if you need, what if your avatar needs to be a certain way for you to get a job? Cause what's the difference between my Facebook account being seen by my boss and my online avatar that I use in this game. <laughs> that it, you see what I mean? Yeah, one's not corporate though. <laughs> one's not corporate, but but I know plenty of jobs. I know my old my current position. All my coworkers told me before they agreed they wouldn't looked at my Facebook, no, so right. they can know who they was dealing with. Yeah. So who's to say you won't if everybody's using this digital? Let's we'll call just, it the Oasis, like we'll in call Ready it Player Oasis, One. Yeah, like Ready Player One. Uh-huh. So hey, I want this job. Okay, well we'll interview on you in Oasis since you're going to be digitally logging in. Oh, and your screen name's like <laughs> Dark Side yeah, Two Dark Side Seven 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 Lynch them. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like no, but I can I see that being the future really sooner than later. Really? At least I'm gonna go ahead and put a bracket within but, twenty years. But. You know how we always talk about people having being different because they're on the internet or like the, yeah. the computer thugs and you yeah, know yeah, that, yeah. that type of Twitter fingers. You know what I'm saying? Imagine you'll get a whole different person, especially yeah. if you're that type of person on the internet. You big hot shit, yeah. And then in person, you shy. You don't like talking yeah. to people. So but that and if that is the better way to, it might you might get a more. You might get more productivity out of people, or you may get something that you like. And then, and then real, not something you want yeah, in real life. True. You see? True. And I think with with me, with me, I try so hard to uh to believe like in like the concept of Oasis is dope. And it, it's to be able to go into this place and and I try to tell people that PlayStation 3 had that with PlayStation Home. Oh yeah. And you created was, a little like a Sims, yeah, right? Yeah, it was a Sims with real life people. Yeah. People used to be in there talking to girls. Literally typing and talking to girls, exchanging numbers. Or people who pretended to be girls. Yeah. Or or people <laughs> who pretended to be girls. But but I used to when I used to play SOCOM, it was this chick in our clan. Her name was Ditsy and she loved playing that game. So when nobody's on, I remember jumping in there and playing it with her. And she's like, Oh yeah, follow me to the movie theaters. 
Follow me to and the bowling alley, and they will be really in there playing a movie. Like it, and it's like a two minute thing, and then it plays another two minute thing, and it's like a weird clip. You can go bowling, you can shoot pool, you can go get drinks, you can bring people back to your house. Literally, that's what it was. It was called PlayStation Home. Now, now imagine that, except your VR. I know, right? Imagine if they had VR back then, PlayStation Three when that was out. I'd be in there with my VR on, going crazy. Right, that's what I'm saying. And let me let me tell you this. Me personally, because once again, folks, we're far away from the top five list. My my issue with um my issue with the current state of VR is it's not integrated into real life. Now I now mm, peep this. Now okay. hear me out. The current VR, in my opinion, is for someone who has a large block of time to put themselves in a situation where they can't hear nothing or see nothing yeah. outside of the video game. Okay. I have two kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A wife. I don't have that current space to where it's like, okay, babe, give me two hours. I'm about to go about to jacking go. in. <laughs> I'm, jack- I'm plugging in. Yeah. I don't have it now because... Me playing my controller, even if you guys um, see me live streaming, I can actually get up, go get up, go do something. something. Hey, I'll be right back. Boom. And go do what I got to do. Or if my daughter walks in, I can see her. But you know how freaked out I would be if I'm sitting there full headset, full headphones, and uh, and I got my plugs on and I'm playing a scary game. Yeah. And my daughter walks up and grabs my leg. <laughs> she liable to get punted. Like... It it just would cause. I can only. It, dude, that's like I'm, a meme. I'm squirrely though. already. Yeah. So that would mess me all yeah. the way up. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. but no. But currently, that's this is why I don't have any VR yet because mm-hmm. I love it. I love the technology. I I'm ready to embrace it. But I want it when it becomes so damn integrated. I want it once it's the new way of everything. Where pe- remember how everybody was excited for Google Glass? Yeah. I'm waiting until it get to that point mm-hmm. where I could sit at work with my glasses on, do my job, but on one lens, be sitting here playing <laughs> Command and Conquer or something else. Like, yeah. that's when it gets to that integrated point and that that type of playability. I know I'm asking for a lot, but we're not that far off from Of it. course not. And I'm patient enough to wait. Yeah. So that's, but I can't wait full dive technology. My SAO fans, my Sword Art Online fans out there, no. Yeah. Full dive tech, I can't wait. Yeah, well, you got to just wait till you get to that point. Bro, do you, I don't think you understand. <laughs> I don't get it. See, I don't, I, I like it for, well, and then, okay, with you being a father of two and a wife, I yeah. can relate to all of that, and I definitely understand it. Um, that's more of a time where you have a this block of window where ain't nothing going on. Right. You got to worry about no, nothing on the stove. Yeah. Yeah. Like and I get that, but at the same the time, multitasking is done once you get a VR. With yeah, see with VR, like it, it's, and then what? I guess the only thing I want to experience inside of VR is like, the, does my skill go away? You know, Ooh, because some possible. people can react better with their fingers than with their body. True. You know, does my skill go away? But that makes it see. Do you know how buff I get? <laughs> if it actually would affect how good I could be in a video game. <laughs> Do you know I'd be at the gym religiously? Be out there. <laughs> like, real, could you, no, think about that, though. Like, oh, if you had to play this, we'll say a shooter. Mm-hmm. But there's a gun you want, but you're not strong enough to hold it. Hold it. Oh, see, that's dope. Do you, like, you're not you strong see, enough to hold do it. Do you see what I mean? Like, get your bench up to here, and you can hold, you can play this game. Those who can only bench this much can 600 play pounds game. can carry this LMG. <laughs> no, but do you see what I mean? Yeah, I get like, it. I get you. I look forward to that. Yeah. Because that's going to be a hell of an experience. And it adds a whole new element to it. Now, yes, for those who haven't seen SAO and are going to watch it, I know I'm excited about something that turned into a torture device. Yeah. Long story short, the guy, um, spoiler alert, the dude locks everybody in the game and forces them to beat it and that's the only way they can get out and if you die in the game you die in real life like Jumanji yes <laughs> yes <laughs> like Jumanji. it turned into that yeah um, but it was it's just so beautiful hmm. Um, and I'm really looking forward to that technology and we are not far from it Google Glasses came out what five six years ago yeah um, and then recently uh, in the last like three years damn has it been that long it had to be at it least is. five when they and once that. again, correct me in the comments. If we're wrong. Um, 
We're only human, guys. We're only human. Now, enough about me bragging about what the hell I'm. Well, we're gonna about. get some into some more bragging. So, we we did mention that we were having some technical difficulties. Yes. This is why it took us so long to get the second episode of 2018 out. But the reason why we've been having technical if, uh, difficulties is because we have been streaming. Yes. We've both been streaming. Uh, my partner, Baron, here has been streaming a lot more than me and also focusing more on YouTube, trying to get our niche correct and our and learning the technology behind streaming, yeah. learning about our Internet, learning about Hertz on TVs, which I just mastered today <laughs> with the help of my boy here and we yeah we've been we've been working on that. So with that being said, yo, how are you enjoying streaming? You know what, man, I didn't realize how much I would enjoy streaming. It's become my passion project, and outside of this, of course, the podcast. But being able to stream has been it's been such a growing experience for me because my my list of passions has been very small. Mm -hmm. You know, I've always been a, uh, I do this for this a to B. Yeah. I go to work to pay my bills. Da, 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 da. I've rarely had anything that I did as a passion. Like, Oh, I want to get better at this. Okay. Oh, I want to follow this goal. I never, I never really had that. That's just not the type of person. I, at least I thought I wasn't that type of person. When I tell you that I find myself like waking up in the middle of the night, oh, I can add this to my stream to make sure it sounds a little better. Yeah. Or going on YouTube and trying to find videos on how to add music to my streams, how to optimize my stream even more, how to get it out there, how to add better overlays, how to work, communicate better while I'm playing. Yeah. This is a passion of mine now. Okay. And I find myself really working hard to make sure to give the viewers a better experience. Okay. And I'm so thankful that I jumped into this. Really? Yeah, it, it's been the best, man. I please people follow your dreams. Yeah, see me, I, I I I love it. The reason, and I think, I think you, because uh, remember we we talk about especially being in a party and and chatting with your friends, being able to communicate with people that jump in there with you. Um, it's dope when you got when you got people watching you and talking to you at the same time. Yeah, you know, and it's it's dope when you got something to re respond to. So that's why I say like, yo, like if you in there, let me know when you jump on the stream. You know, yeah. you jump in the stream, and I jump in there, and I'm able to talk shit to you. Yeah, you know, ask you what you're doing, what game you're playing, because you do play multiple, you do play different di different games. Yes, we have different likes in video games Very too, true. but we still. I may still see something and be interested in what you're true, doing. True. Not only because it's your boy, because we both go to other people's pages, oh, yeah. both other people's streams, just to see what they're doing. YouTube, I mean, not YouTube, uh, Twitch has yep. compiled all these different video game people and broke them up into the game that they're playing that you can go and watch any game you want. If you want to go see some Mario Kart, there's a channel for that. There's somebody playing Mario Kart. If you want to go see somebody playing Arc, you can go watch somebody. Yep. Just like Destiny, just like NBA, any, any sports game, any FIFA, game. and there's there's all, in these different categories. There's the head guy. Yeah. So there is the number one guy that plays this game, mm -hmm. right? And most people stick to their game. Yeah. The beauty of it is you don't have to. You don't have to. You know, I can go play any game. Fortnite. Fortnite is a game that didn't. There was, to be honest, I would say the number one battle royale player, um, and that's only because he won award. He got award for that. Or, was Dr. Disrespect. Yeah, he did. Like, he ain't the best, but, but he was the most, awarded yeah. for the best I Oh, guess, yeah, streamer. the last game awards. Yeah. yeah. So he, he yeah. got that. So you want to go see somebody play um, PUBG or uh, Fortnite now, you know, you go watch some Dr. Disrespect, even though he took a break because yeah. of his situation. Yeah. Shout out Dr. Dr. Disrespect. Dr. Dr. Disrespect, is, real, he's, he's a funny dude. Yep. I like his character. But it, but at the, what I'm trying to say is that there's something there for everybody. everybody. If you just want to be entertained, you can find somebody to entertain you. If you want to be a part of it, it is easy as starting up your PlayStation, streaming from your console, and having a mic. And, and let me tell you this. What took me so long to get into it, because believe me, Twitch has been on the table for me for years. My cousin's always told me. My cousin, shout out to you, man. He's always pushed it. He's always told me, like, why don't you stream? You play enough games. You play all the games yeah. people watch. Why don't you stream? I'm like, ah, once again, sitting on my hands, like, just being lazy, being a bum. Those days are done. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm glad. <laughs> yeah, those days are beyond done. But no, for real talk, like if the the ease of it, the ability to turn it on and just jump in. Yeah. And what's so funny is a lot of people watch it like cable. Mm-hmm. A lot of people watch it like TV. There's a major app on your people, Amazon stick. Or people Fire stick. go and they'll just turn on. They don't turn on Amazon. They don't turn on Netflix. Yeah. They don't turn on nothing. They go straight to Twitch and just find their person and they sit back. Mm-hmm. Watch I know I do when games. I'm cooking. Yeah. When I'm cooking, I literally just put on the guy that's doing some yep. shit and then I'll go cooking and then yep. listen to whatever he's talking about. It's just that it's that availability, man. So what, what's like, okay, I'll start. For me, the biggest problem I ran into is um, st- I had to learn to stop paying attention to numbers. Mm, okay. I had to really, 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 because I'm working hard to reach the affiliate status. Yeah. Which the affiliate status is once you can start getting subscribers and you can start being paid on Twitch. Um, you know, speaking of that, you know what I just learned the other day, and I'm not 100 percent sure if it's a if it's a, the affiliate status or what. But there is a specific you have to reach a certain amount of like, like either partnered or affiliate probably the partner to status. get to where people can change the different type of like resolution to the videos that they're watching. Like if yeah. you're streaming at 1080p, you got to watch that sucker at 1080p. Yeah. So this is why a lot of people tell you, and I could be wrong. When I went and I heard that before, and then mm-hmm. I went to check, I went, to, I started streaming and went to check, and the only option I have is auto or whatever I'm streaming at, yep. and I'm like, damn, they must be right. This is why they say stream at t- uh, uh, seven seven twenty because not everybody don't have 1080p. exactly. So I'm I'm trying to watch it on my phone, but my phone ain't playing it. But I'm watching it on my lap, my computer, my computer playing, and I'm like, damn, what's going on mm-hmm. here? That's the reason. Yep. So. I gotta change my there, settings. There are yeah. there are a bunch of difference, and that's another part too. Outside of um, worrying about numbers and trying to reach certain goals, it's okay to have goals, but to sit there and base everything I play and every how I play strictly on those goals, it gets kind of gets kind of daunting. Yeah, and wh- but that's only because you see other people there. Yeah, other people got a million subscribers. Yeah, like, damn, I could oh, make a million. Yeah, subscribers. yeah, but I keep I keep forgetting that they've been doing it for years. Yeah, exactly, and. And that's uh, so me learning to slow down and just enjoy the process. Thank you, Gary V. Yep. Gary V. Gary V. You're the real. Thank you. One day you're going to hear one of these podcasts and you're going to hear this. Thank you. One day we're going to meet him. Yep. We're going to be kicking it with Gary V. I'm Boy. so ready. But like, that's like my, like one of the people I love to meet. Yeah. yeah Mike yeah. Tyson, Marshawn Lynch. <laughs> Mike Tyson is the real, bro. I haven't met him, but I went to his uh, stand up, his part two stand up. Uh huh. Mike Tyson is the real. That dude's hilarious. He told this dude, he said, shut the fuck up. This is a one-man throw. <laughs> like, sorry, Mike. I'm not making fun of you. Um, I'm scared of that man. He's yeah. big as shit. And you see all the people he knocked out? Mike Tyson. <laughs> Mike Tyson is one of them dudes. This is how I treat it. it there's levels. Yeah. So it's like, okay, I'll fight you. Okay, I'll hit you with a bat. But yeah. Okay, I might have to shoot you. Yeah. Like that, those are the levels. Mike like, Mike Tyson is grenades and lo- rocket yeah, launchers. Like, <laughs> you, how do you earn the name Iron Mike Tyson? Jesus, he's like, I'm gonna eat your kids. <laughs> like, defense is impregnable. He's crazy, man. But so okay, back back to it though. <laughs> reel it in. Yeah, reel it in. Those that has been my biggest problem is worrying about future success mm-hmm. and um, just. I haven't ran into many technical difficulties. Um, not like me, huh? Oh, uh, no, nah, nothing like <laughs> you. And I'm going to go ahead and let you take over. Yeah, my see, my the only problems I'm having so far streaming is, is, is not, I wouldn't even call it the numbers thing anymore because that's something we talk about consistently between yeah. me and you. And uh, it, if we if if it was a major thing, it, you already said it. Yeah. But the major major problem I'm having is technical difficulties and not having the right settings correct. I watched all the YouTube videos. Uh, Espon Vox, I've been watching him all week. I watched his one hundred or his forty seven videos on OBS. Still ain't got it down right. I've been watching all time. When I tell you, I went through the whole catalog of 2017 OBS and I still haven't gotten it right. 
And it's my tech. It's just technical difficulties after another, after another. I'm telling you, I called you and told you this. I told him that I, I was having a problem with the delay on my Elgato to my uh, my mic. Delay. Went to his page. I'm like, man, he got to be having the same problem. He ain't having no problems. <laughs> he over here streaming, laughing. I low key got a little jealous. I'm sitting there like, man, this is a book. Bought a new. I, listen, I bought a brand new laptop for this. Bought a brand new laptop to get in the game, and still couldn't get in the game. I'm sitting there. I'm just angry and hurt. And then, um, <laughs> finally, met up with my boy. This is the tef- technical difficulty part. We met up today. We got some information. Well, he gave me some information, and I said I, I hit, start hitting myself for the end of how simple it was. So, t- all in all, I need a new monitor. That's it. <laughs> that That's is it. it. This dude, this dude is known for overclocking. Oh my so gosh! So basically, he was trying to run 144 hertz on and a 60 running it through a 60 hertz monitor. No TV. Yeah, it wasn't even a monitor. It's yeah. a TV. Basically, he was trying to kill the computer or kill the, <laughs> the kill the monitor. And it just it just sucked because in the re- like I'm telling you, when I went from an older monitor than that, yeah. And it literally was this monitor was playing the games. It was doing the stuff. Um, or and yeah, it was. I can bring stuff over. I can watch stuff on it. But anytime I play the video, and this is what we found out today. Anytime I play the video on it, the video voice and the audio is all off. And I'm going. I'm showing him the video, and the video's working perfectly fine. Yeah. And he was like, "Dude, I don't even see anything." Yeah, <laughs> I'm sitting so there. Upset. I'm trying so hard because he's a part-time perfectionist. So I'm sitting I, here. Yeah, part. I, like 75 percent. Yeah, almost. he might be a full time employee with the Perfectionist Bureau. So I'm gonna tell you, I'm I blame sitting, my grandmother. Yeah, grandma didn't play. So I'm sitting there, really trying to figure out what's wrong with this dude's video. I'm really watching brand new laptop, and I'm sitting here. I'm like, hey, bro, this is fly, dude. I don't know what you're talking about. This is your video looks perfect. And then it came. Then he comes out and says, oh well, my monitor is 60 hertz. <laughs> Like, bruh. I didn't, but I didn't know that was the... Pro- and then, you know what made it worse? When I look up, hey, audio delay on OBS, there's a million videos on it. But nothing about... Nothing on... Oh, your monitor got to be at a... If you well, got a laptop at 120 hertz... I'm, I'm mad he sound mad, but... I it, am mad! <laughs> but... Uh, look, we, we have came from our difficulties and we're still growing and learning. I'm constantly making changes to my stream as I go. I went from having a no overlay to an overlay to a bunch of overlays to no overlays. To Twitch alerts. To Twitch alerts. Oh, I still got those. Yeah. I got Twitch alerts. I actually had my first uh, my first uh, donation, too. Shout, uh, out, to you. shout out to Salute. Mm-hmm. He d- donated uh, $5. I am so grateful. You don't understand how happy I was. I've made money playing video games. Yeah. That and not gambling, not nothing like that. Straight out, somebody gave me money because they enjoyed watching me play video yeah. games. Yeah, see that's dope. I man. felt so so excited. Yeah, that's dope. It, it's only the beginning. And it's only the beginning because I haven't been doing it that long. I mean, what two two months, three yeah. months? Yeah, but just about like a little longer than that. Probably. Yeah, maybe a little, a little longer. longer. See. What makes this even better is on the flip side to that, that there's YouTube and YouTube, even though they just made the changes to their services, which I do not disagree with at all. Um, I wish it was more of an update on that. Like they kind of kicked it out or, and they kind of did cause it's not to take an effect until next year to, or next month, the 20th. So <clears throat> at the end of the day, I'm sitting there thinking to myself, you know, we can do this. Yeah. Like YouTube is not... If you can Twitch, you can YouTube. If you can YouTube, you can Twitch. Yep. And the, 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 the only thing you have to do is do it. You yeah. know, you have to continue doing it. You have to continue keeping your mind in it. Because once you get out of it, once it, it's you oh, like, man. oh, I ain't, man. Once, I ain't you, once, you, 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 um, once you stop doing it, you lose it. Exactly. You know, so it's you just, don't use it, you lose it. There you it's go. good to know that, especially you having... having uh, the wife that you have that's telling you, hey, you need to go stream. Yeah, yeah, my wife <laughs> she, has said that. Yo, that is that's dope. So, um, I you've been streaming more than me, and I'm I'm proud of you for doing it. I got somebody to watch, but now that we've finally fixed these tef- technical difficulties, please, please, you guys, go follow us on Twitch. Yes, show us, show us your support. Um, you have a schedule, don't you? 
Um, yes, but do I follow it? No. Okay. Um, this is okay. So my normal schedule, I try to, um, so Mondays is usually when we do our podcast. Yes. So I try to stream Tuesday through Sunday, um, at least three hours. And it's usually, uh, let me, let me stop. I'm going ahead of myself. Slow down. Sorry. Tuesday <laughs> through Friday, it is seven to 11. That's usually when I stream. And use what the real time turns into and that specific is like standard that time. specific standard time. It usually turns into eight to midnight. That's usually when I stream mm -hmm. on Tuesday through Friday. Then weekends, um, Saturday, Sunday, it kind of just up in the air, depending on what type of real life stuff I got to do. Yeah. But for the most part, it's safe to say seven to midnight seven to midnight that's that's usually when i'm on okay. or um to make it easier when you follow me which is baron j67 anything of importance baron j67 mm -hmm. twitch patreon um my own youtube page YouTube. all of that make you guys make sure to subscribe follow support and like and comment and on everything everything or well, I guess you was getting into Twitch or Twitter, right? Yeah, I was in the okay. Twitter as well. So yeah, with 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 Twitter, we will anytime we start streaming, anytime we post a video on YouTube, if you're following us on Twitter, you will see it there. Yep. And if you're following us on Twitch, you'll get a notification. Perfect. Exactly. Exactly. So, so yeah, you know, um, it's just so cool, man. I talk about this all the time. It's all my streams. I really talk about it. If you got a passion, if you got a dream please folks don't don't sit on your hands take a couple hours every day and follow your dream man if you want to write a book start writing it if you want to make a song start writing the lyrics start creating the beat please just do it because i sit back and i think about if we would have started streaming when we talked about it i i think about if we would have started this podcast when we talked about mm -hmm. it and just within the little, just the success that we've had so far, I can only imagine where we would be today if we would have started when we first thought about it. Oh, man. So basically, I don't want people to go 10 years, one year. I don't want people to go one week. If man, you got an idea. You, don't hold yourself don't back. Don't hold yourself back. Don't do not do that to yourself. You, you truly do deserve to go and follow your dreams. If you got a goal of doing anything, just try it. Because it would suck to get to a point in your life and be like, man, I, I didn't even try. Yeah. That'd be depressing. Yeah, man. I agree with you, man. I'm, I'm Like I said, I'm proud of you. We're doing our thing. We're trying to get better. Proud of you too, man. We're trying to get better every day. We talk on a daily basis about yep. not only real life stuff, but gaming stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm, And that's cool that I got somebody to run to when something's messed up. Yeah. Or when I get in, or I have a question about something since you've dove deep into like the Twitch thing. But... Like I said, man, we're we're going to prom. We're I promise to continue it. Yeah, I promise to keep it. We're going to keep this going and uh, as inform as many people about it as I possibly can. I was shy to get on this mic. At first, it was hard to start holding the conversation and speaking up and speaking into the mic. Getting into the mic. Now we're we're actually doing it. Yeah, now we're it, talking it, into the it mic. It feels now. so natural, it, right? It just flows and it's just boom, 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 boom. And, and then we've and see we've always stuck to this whole thing about yo, let's keep it fun. Yeah, you know, and, yes. and continue it. And like we 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 will structure some things. We'll go off tangent most of the time. Like True. we wrote in pre. Pre uh pre po or pre, pre production pre, of yeah. the the podcast. podcast we had we weren't talking about Drake yeah that we just had popped no, that, that just popped man. up that was so, super random and we're ending it on Drake <laughs> yeah and now we're ending with Drake because Drake is the truth Drake is don't sleep on man, Drake look I don't give a damn who wrote his lyrics it sounds good <laughs> it sounds good. hey isn't it kind of sad though that Millie Vanilli would have been famous and been okay if they would have came out now well, yeah. but because of that time they did not play that jocking and copy and shit no of course no 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 they yeah you're right but if you if they would have came out twenty years later, see they would have been okay. Because <laughs> it sounds good. No, of course it does. It's more of like, it, and you only get to people like that, like, and it's the old school people, the yep. old, the Dead. old head, them old heads, and people, especially like me, I'm a true, like I consider myself a hip hop head. So if we're talking like, okay, lyrically, who's the best? Then that conversation is a different conversation with Drake. Yeah, but we're not having that yeah, conversation. We're not, not going to do that because MF know? Doom 
we're not going to sit there and talk about that. Yeah. All caps when you spell my man's name. You know what I'm saying? The man who splits bars. <laughs> hey, I but, mean, it's a lot of rappers out there that that will disagree, but they're true hip hop heads. Yeah. Like you're a hip hop head. Now, if you're a music, of, if you're a fan of just music, good music, you can't tell me Drake Drake's yeah. run hasn't been historical. Man, it's something crazy. Like it. This man went from curls to ball head. <laughs> no, not not only that. This dude went from TV show drama. He went to from Nickelodeon. The, he went from Nickelodeon to Canada Nickelodeon. Yeah, <laughs> Canadian the the Degra, grassy. How do you go from the grassy to hip hop's top mm-hmm. to Billboard's top? Not even just hip hop, Billboard's. How you outselling everybody? How you go? You went from a kid. In Canada on a TV show, yeah. To I, the US is one of the US's top hip hop artists. I'm telling you, man, Drake had me feeling like I was the Drake of the strip club. Oh God! <laughs> and on that note, folks, <laughs> we're gonna wrap it up. This is Baron J six seven, and I'm T Jones. Man, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to follow us, and we'll have all our links. Follow us on everything from Patreon, Twitter, Facebook. Not Facebook. What's the other one? Instagram, all Instagram. that. Subscribe, Twitter, fo- Twitter, Twitch. Follow us. We can go along with the crazy. Baron J six seven. I'm X T Jones or T right. Jones, man. Dang. Yeah, you keep doing that whole X T Jones, but that is how you find them. X T Jones. Yeah. I'm gonna shut up now because we're starting to ramble. All right, have a good one. Peace.